Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time you seeing my face, go hit the subscribe button so you can be notified. I've been waiting all my life for something. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time you seeing my face, go on ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you're told when I post a video. Um, but today, in honor of Juneteenth, is that how we're saying this? Juneteenth? So today is June 19th. Um, I wanted to share with you some black owned and one brown. Black and brown, but mainly black. Black owned businesses I've personally been supporting and um, ones that you know you should definitely check out. So if you're interested in seeing my 10, possibly more, I think I'm rolling with that. I think I have 10 like listed out. Uh, then stay tuned. Am I making fun? Okay. I'm pretty sure it's about 10. Could be 13. We'll see. I don't know what I'm going to title this exactly, but somewhere around that. These are some black owned businesses that I personally been Supporting, using, they've honestly come in so clutch during this whole quarantine time, and hopefully you will find them useful and handy. And just good to know, I'm all for us supporting our own. Um, you know, just ugh, ugh. Okay, all right. We're we're not we're, we're not gonna get into it in this video. This is not the video for that, but. Um, you know, I'll link a blog post where I kind of, you know, just kind of said my piece and kind of how I've been feeling with everything going on in the world right now. Um, but yeah, this is a super long intro. Uh, let's get into this video. <clears throat> I did make a list, um, because otherwise I will talk for days and I'm hungry, so let's not do that. Okay, first up is Kyra Beauty. So I discovered Kyra Beauty about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago or so, thanks to all the accounts. I have so much new accounts on my Instagram feed now, it's great. Um, but all these uh, accounts of posting like, you know, black businesses and like local businesses and I live in Toronto. And I don't know why I always thought there just wasn't like black beauty supply stores. Maybe because like, there's none. I've seen, like I know one, but it's like in the West End and it's out of the way and I've been there once. But Kyra Beauty found it on Instagram through, I think it's Malcolm's Choice, is where everyone's like listing their businesses, and I uh, came in super clutch. I needed to do my hair, and I needed some hair to do my hair, and uh, they, like I ordered online, like I literally ordered through Instagram, um, I got my stuff in like, like a couple of days, they delivered it, they were super nice, I got a text and a phone call, <laughs> my order is being delivered, um, so great. I, like big on presentation and especially when you're like a small business and a black owned business and you know there's the connotation of like the customer service is not going to be great or that um, just like the quality of the service the products isn't great. I really like seeing when you know small businesses, the black owned businesses really like set themselves apart from that stereotype. So I was highly, highly impressed with the bag. Like my order came in here, it had like black and gold tissue paper like it was definitely the nicest hair supplies i've ever bought like packaging wise like normally it's on a plastic bag and <laughs> you know like i go to the beauty supply store and i i spend money because i tend to use things until they're done and then everything finishes at the same time and then i have to go and just like buy everything once like shampoo and conditioner deep conditioner leave-in uh, hair butters, oils, hair, like everything, literally. Um, and so I was highly, highly impressed with, A, it's online. Um, I don't know if I'm excited to put back in stores after this, but it's online, it delivers to my house, the shipment was like really quick. Um, they had a lot of what I needed. I really hope they'll like expand their selection of products because I like stuff. <laughs> But, you know, I got the essentials, like, what I get? I got, you know, obviously the braiding hair I needed. Um, this the new do. Love, loving this hair. It makes me feel like it's really summer, even though I'm not going anywhere. You know, I got, like, a new edge brush, because I've been using just, like, the little, like, little small brushes from other beauty blasters that I will no longer go back to. But, like, uh, this is impressive. So it's got, like, a comb on one side, a brush on one side. It's got a nice, like, rat tail comb on the bottom, like... This came in clutch. This was great for sectioning my hair. Um, I really like the brush side for all, you know, these bangy hair, you know. <laughs> Have you guys seen that video? Okay. If you know, you know. 
but yeah, this was really good. Um, they had my favorite edge control of all time. Thank God for that. So yeah, Kyra Beauty, I'm a stan now. I will be ordering all my beauty supply store purchases through them. So you know, I, I really need them to give me more stuff. I need more stuff. Um, but if you've never been, um, if you've never tried it, honestly, like super easy to use, your website setups, like user friendly and customer service was great, delivery was quick, delivery was quick, that's key. Like if you can give me delivery in like three, two, three, four days and you're not Amazon, I'm impressed. In this time, I'm highly, highly impressed. Yeah, so you can find them at kyrabeauty.ca. Um, they're Kyra Beauty Canada on Facebook and Instagram. So yeah, I like them. That's like never been so impressed with a bag from Beauty Supply Store. Next up, staying in the kind of like beauty realm again, also on Instagram through all those posts. I'm pretty sure it's Malcolm's choice. I found Marche Organics. Am I saying that right? Yes, Marche Organics Beauty. Is their full name so they're Marche Organic Beauty on Instagram and it's MarcheOrganicsBeauty.com and this is from my uh, my order so from them I got two things that I ordered so the first thing is the pineapple vanilla vegan body lotion with shea butter pumpkin seed oil and moringa cucumber and bamboo extracts it says it's for like combination dry skin I got dry skin and I don't like lotions because I don't like they're greasy. I like body butters because they're nice and thick. But like it's hot outside. <laughs> like it's like 30 something degrees today. It was hot. Um, so like I can't really use a body butter because it's too thick. And then I don't like lotions because they're greasy. This stuff is really good. It smells divine. It literally smells like pineapple and vanilla. It smells like vacation. Um, but it's the right, like it's just the right amount where like it's easy to blend in. It's hydrating, like my skin feels really juicy and hydrated, and it's got like just a smidgen of grease, like just enough so that you have that nice like glow where like you look like, you know, you eat right and sleep well and drink a lot of water. That's what that does. So um, I thank goodness, like I've been buying, you know, clean body care products like I've been preaching in these videos. So, you know, I usually get like lotions from Lush or Sephora, but um, Marsha Organics, the vegan, and like just black and so, like a small so good. So good. Um, I need them to do body washes. They don't do body washes right now, but I'm gonna get a body wash and that's it. I also got a hand soap, which I haven't used yet, but it smells so good. So it's a plant-based hand soap. It's vegan, it's bamboo extracts. And then for added moisture, and it's the orange and ginger scent. This smells so good. I'm just waiting for the hands up in the bathroom to finish. I'm really trying to finish it so that I can start using this. And like how beautiful is this packaging? I am here for the rose gold. Uh, so far the pump, the pump on my um, lotion's been great. So I have high hopes. Yes, guys, if you're looking for hand soaps, if you're looking for lotions, Marsha Organics is the wave. Uh, I really hope. <clears throat> that um I'm like I'm assuming they're gonna add more stuff. I do see a trend here, I like I need more stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna need I need body washes, okay. Just just say they don't know me. Um but yeah, so they have like this whole like plant-based movement um on their social platform, which I think is great. Um, you know, organic. Organic and honestly for like organic stuff it was not that expensive like it wasn't expensive. It was like less than I probably would spend at Sephora on some lotion, to be honest. Um, probably around the same price as I would to get a cup of that thing that I use from like Cherry Pot or Karma Cream from Lush. Like it's in the same price point. It's vegan. It's natural. It's organic. It's, it's like it's just so good. It's so good. And it smells so good. I'm really trying not to smell it right now. It smells really good. So if you've never heard of them, because I literally hadn't heard of any of those two brands before like two weeks ago, um, now you know. Uh, so Shan nailed it. Um, I know I did a blog post on their press-ons. Where are they? So yeah, so Shan nailed it. Um, I know her. I went to school with her. And she is a dope nail tech. Like, um, she started taking bookings come July, so I'm definitely gonna go get um, these situated by her in person. Um, but she started doing press-ons during COVID, and this is my set. I love them. I actually need to order a set that's a little shorter because, um, yeah, I'm doing a lot of typing <laughs> and these girls are 
girl's not that skilled. But they're beautiful. I had them on for about a week and a half or so, and they were great. Took them off. They came off like it was really easy to remove them. And what I like is that I can re-wear them. So, she nailed it. Uh, follow her on Instagram, on her Instagram account. Um, you can book like your appointments right through there. There's like a link for that. So I know I'll be booking it because, like I said, this, this, these, mm, these are enough. These are a no, um, but yeah, she's still also doing press-ons, so you can still wear press-ons, which I think is dope. I definitely like want to have like a couple sets for like you know when like you break a nail or two or three and you need them sorted out, but you don't have time to go booking for an appointment. Throw those bad boys. So Trey Arts is uh, the Peanut King here in Toronto, and um, obviously couldn't book in for like in studio paint night, so he made um, virtual the COVID and I've been hooked. I've gotten my mom hooked. Uh, we do them every week. So like as an example, and by the way, like not artistic when it comes to painting, like I don't know nothing about painting. And the, the, I'm gonna show you, but like Loki out here looking like a professional cause he's just a great teacher and so much fun. Um, so this was like last week's paint night and like, ooh, look at her. Like, I look like I did do something, right? Like, this one was like my very first, like, look at her. I actually need to like find places to put these up. You know what else? I have so much, like, this was the first one I did with my mom for Mother's Day. Um, so I did, like, I I painted this one, my mom painted it, it looks fun, and my mom's been hooked ever since, so we literally do like every single week. Um, tomorrow we're doing paint for Father's Day. So that's it. If you have not done a chair paint night yet, what are you waiting on? He also does like free paint nights on Wednesdays that are geared towards kids. Or there's a lot of like landscapes so you don't need a pre-stenciled uh, canvas. But yeah, loving that. That's definitely been like top on the list. So a girl I went to school with, I DK Bright here on YouTube. She also has a um, an art company and she does prints and I got this print from her last week yeah got this from her last week and it's this gorgeous print sorry my ring light is just okay so this is her mama Africa print and I absolutely love the African print scar uh, wrap on the head on on the head on her head and I just like I saw it on her Instagram and like ordered it right away it was beautiful so you can find her uh, DK Arts on um, Etsy and DK Arts on Instagram and like I order right through there's already another print I'm eyeing but it comes like in this nice frame which is perfect I'm definitely gonna be building myself a gallery wall and I definitely I think I want like either black and like natural wood frames or black and white frames I haven't decided I know for a fact black frames so I was so happy that this comes like already framed I don't have to like figure out what size frame I need and Anybody got time for that? So, um, if you're like into art, if you want some nice, really cool prints, um, she has some amazing canvases as well, like canvas painting uh, pieces. But I love the prints. A little friend of mine, uh, I saw that she's posting like she's drawing again, and she did this amazing piece with pencil crayons, and I was like, um, can I buy that? And so she's selling her art now. And I'm gonna put her Instagram in because I honestly can't say it. So this is the first thing I bought from her, which is this art. And again, it's in a black frame. Like, do you see? Do you see how my wall? My, my wall's gonna be so good. Um, and so, like, she did all this by hand. It's with all like coloring pencils. Like, I just absolutely loved it. And so I got that from her. And so she's selling those. And then she did this series of like all these beautiful women that she drew, and then she put them on T-shirts. And so bought a t-shirt and I ordered some more so I'm gonna show you I'm wearing it right now so that's the shirt I got like how cool is that so cool next up we're gonna do kind of like clothing clothing not clothing. okay so first up a D smart designs is where I've been getting all my masks from because you know I don't know why people acted like there's still not a whole virus out there throw this one on real quick <laughs> you know, mask will make it fashionable. 
So I have this one, and I also have this one. I love, love, love the print on this. Um, I'll put this one on for you too. Oh, look at that. Such cool designs, um, amazing fabrics, amazing print, so well made, so well made. You know, you don't have elastic twisting, like they're high, 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 high quality, high quality new mask. Like, look at that print. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, and their price range is like $10 to $15 for their, um, $10 for the essential mask, $15 for the premium mask, which is made of higher um, grade cotton fabric. So if you need some masks and you're in the GTA, or even if you're not, like, girl, they'll ship to you. Um, I'll insert, include their Instagram as well, and you just, like, all the styles and are on the Instagram, and you just DM them, you know, the style, the color, and how much you want, and they take it from there. I'm also going to mention World and Vision. Um, I ordered t-shirts from them, like, in April. I've worn them. They're in the wash right now. So I'm just going to insert photos, but they're a really, really cool brand. They're based out in New Orleans. Yeah, pretty sure it's New Orleans. And um, yeah, black owned, two young entrepreneurs. And it's really, like, I really love the t-shirts. As you can see, I have a thing for, I like graphic tees. Um, and I like cotton t-shirts and they're like 100% cotton. They're beautiful. So I really love that brand. Um, they have these really cool hats, but like my head's too big but I want one. Dilemmas. Okay, and then, are we at 10? I don't even know how much we're at. We're going with 10, I think it's 10. It might be like 12 or 13 or 14 or something. I think it's 10, we'll see. Uh, food, because you know, the tourists in me, we love some food. So, queen tea treats. I really, I really should have brought a freezy. I'm just gonna insert like into stories of like me eating the cream. I think I have like three left. So these are like alcohol infused breezies. So good, so good, like delicious. <sighs> I kind of want them now, but if you've not tried the cream tea treats or breezies, they're amazing. Um, so yeah, you again, like just, um, I'll insert their Instagram. Uh, Queen Tea Treats, black owned, female, young entrepreneur, and DM your order. I literally got like, it's not called an exploration box, but I'm calling it. I basically ordered a box of 15 and got one of every flavor, and I've yet to find a flavor I did not like. Um, I do also believe they you can get them without them being infused, but like, adult freezies, why not? Dave's Hotspot. Okay, if you live in Toronto and you've not heard about Dave's Hotspot yet, where, where, do, what are you doing? So I got the loaded mac and cheese. Oh, I had like shrimp, wings, and like the most beautiful mac and cheese. So good. It's worth the wait. Like I know the lineup's crazy. It's worth it. Just do it. They met three. Get there for like two fifteen and just start the line. Just get your food. Like it's worth it. So it's it's so good. So, they're new, they're popping, like, everyone's honest about I don't know where you've been if you've not heard of Dave Tosby yet. So, the grills jerk cut, uh, they're Jamaican, jerk chicken, bomb, soup, bomb, curry goat, bomb, curry chicken, bomb, just, ooh, the fish, oh, the, oh, the fish, the steamed fish, it's so good, the fried fish, so good, it's just, it's so good. They deliver, <sighs> so good. Victor Burke and Lauren. If you didn't know, now you know. And then my baby, Christmas Jerk. Okay, I honestly found out about Christmas Jerk like, I wanna say three years now. And like, anybody that will let me drag them there or bring them a jerk chicken poutine, I do. If you've never had a jerk, jerk chicken poutine, go to Christmas Jerk. If you've ever had a jerk, jerk poutine from anywhere else, ignore that go to Chris's Jerk. It is the best, the best jerk chicken poutine you will ever have in your life, period. I will fight anybody on that. You cannot find a better jerk chicken poutine nowhere. I've also had their fried chicken bomb. I've had their like jerk, jerk chicken milk bomb, but jerk chicken poutine. That's what you go there for. Like, 
all the food's good don't get me wrong it's all good but that right there is their bread and butter. like it's so good to the point where like I don't even eat poutines from anywhere else because like what's the point point? and then I tried a jerk chicken poutine back in like January from some place downtown in like Cabbage Town so I couldn't even eat it I couldn't even eat it because I'm like I didn't want to do this but you know like I was with people they're like no I'll just try it I'm like but it's not Christmas jerk and I was right it's just not it not it I'm pretty sure I, I just mentioned more than 10 businesses but they're all so good I covered everything I covered beauty I covered fashion and COVID and art and food but honestly if you've never spent your money in any of these businesses definitely spend your money you will not regret it um why don't we leave food till last night? I'm just hungry. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please, please comment down below some uh, black owned businesses that you've tried, that you've used, that you've heard of. You can use them, link them below so that I can go check them out so other people can go check them out. Um, follow Malcolm's Choice on Instagram because they have like, every, like businesses are um, listing with them, like black owned, ooh, black owned businesses are listing with them. So it's making it so much easier to discover and find you know other businesses and yeah even if they're not here in Toronto like they got a website put me on um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys found it useful hope everyone is staying well mentally physically COVID is still real the everything that's going on like let's still protect ourselves out here like I'm not trying to go into lockdown part two Okay, like we're, we're there, they're here trying to like open things up slowly, like we're, we're not trying to revert. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know what businesses you've been supporting. What did you buy on today, June 10th? If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell button so that you know, you know when I post. And yeah, stay safe, stay sane. And support black businesses, guys. Let's do this. Let's get With my own dog.